My name is Tyler Williams. I'm going to give each of you a few seconds to introduce yourselves, and then we'll get right on into the questions, okay? So we'll start with you, sir. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm a little skilled. This is my sixth year here at Sino right? <laughs> I love music. It's a passion, you know, and uh, you can buy my mixtape on the way out. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Allison Marie, and uh, I actually thought I was trying out to be president of the Starbucks Club. So I'm a little confused as why I'm here, but I'm just going to try my best. Hi. Uh, babe. Oh, Hi, Tyler. I'm Shayla. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Quinn. Huh. And uh, welcome to be the best power duo out here. Okay, thank you. Uh, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Tim. Um, sir, do you have a last name? <laughs> okay, so Tim Tim it is. Alright, um, we're gonna get started with the questions now. The first one goes out to Fruit Loop. Little Skittle. Right, my, my mistake, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, Little Skittle, if you were to pick a new fight song for C Moment Right, what would you pick? Well, actually, Tyler, I've been uh, messing with some lyrics myself. So, oh, really? Yeah. Do you, do you have one you might be able to just show everybody? Yeah, I got a song for you guys. I Oh, we'd love to hear it. I can spit some fire real fast. Alright, here we go, ready? Yo, I'm a little skill, yeah, you know me, you know me, I like bees. You like bees? Yeah. Like bumblebees? Yeah. You like bumblebees? Bumblebees. Alright, we're gonna move on now.
we have for today. We're actually out of questions. Thank you all for coming. I really do appreciate it. Have a good evening. to ride Helga's back? No. Did I enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> all right, Helga. There's two more guys out there for you. No one would ever love Helga. No, no, no. The producers have this all set. You got this. Choose another guy. Tyler. <laughs> oh, my lovely boy, Tyler. <laughs> Can you accept this rose? Helga, I'm sorry, but you just didn't rock my world. But why? <laughs> I'm gonna want to serenade you, okay? Helga was really talented, but I think she might be a guy. Girl 
know, the date went well. Uh, when I dropped her off at home, I really felt like she was saying she loved me. And I kind of liked it. trying to sleep. You always sleep. Oh, I'm tired. I just want to play Xbox. Why I is everyone yelling? No one cares that you want to play, play Xbox. Xbox. I like lamp. I want to go to bed too. Good night, guys. Good night, Shannon. It is an instrument. No, it's not an instrument. Good go night, to bed. Guys. How's school? Who, me? Bowman. Hey, well, let me tell you. I'm up to something. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy. TV
next, we have a girl who's very good at dancing, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Gott, bro, we decided that, like, detention was freaking radical, bro. And all of us... A guy who loves getting jacked! A sneakerhead. A guy just trying to study. A lyrical god. A fashionista. A lax, bro. Got along, and it was just an all-around chill sesh. So, uh, thanks, bro. Sincerely, the ver variety, variety bros. Yeah, the variety bros. This ain't no Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's a P.S. Please everybody in the room give it up for the court. Also 
known as the Mustang media. Let's start with the first thing that it hurts me from. The other side. <laughs> uh, uh, mm. Mm, yes. Well, letter N. Does letter N seem to be continuing here? Yes, yes. My great great grandmother's name was Mary Ann. Yes, Mary Ann, your great great grandmother. Somebody tells me that Mary Ann, your great great grandmother, is no longer with us. Would I be correct? Yes, my great great grandmother is dead. Such 
a small one. I, I don't know how you did it. Very talented. We're very, very impressed. impressed. So let's say you are elected president. What? What's the first thing you would do that would like, kind of fit the local, the local area of the school? I'll tell you, the first thing I'm going to do is we need to get all the kids from the high schools around here, like Falston, North Harford, Joppatown, Edgewood, and we need to get them out of the school. All right? Second thing, we're going to build a wall. Right? Yeah.
We're doing okay. Thank you, man. Thanks for pop up. We appreciate it. Hey, uh, nice tie got there, huh? Went to get the one dollar store. <laughs> well, actually, my mom just got one the other day. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the, uh, got you again. Please don't touch us. Oh, you too. <laughs> All right, moving on. Please don't touch us. Um, Anthony, what's the word on? What's the word on the street? <laughs> Ah, it's a new movie that broke box office levels. Really? What is it? Star Wars: The Four Jamaicans. Did you say? Did you say the Four Jamaicans? One, two, three, four of them. Anthony, I'm pretty sure it's Star Wars. That's not me. Oh, gotcha. Anthony, I got that. Don't touch. It's Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Not the four Jamaicans. <laughs>
And remember, it is so weird and uncomfortable for another kid who walks in, they're in the bathroom stall, and the kid next to them is smoking their opponents in Clash of Clans. <laughs> please don't do it. Our final piece of advice for what not to do is please never, ever show up to a school event late. We're talking basketball games. We're talking homecoming. We're talking prom. That's a big one. Whatever you do, do not show up late. Because when you show up late for a school event, it only makes the experience worse for yourself and everybody else involved. <laughs> Well, those have been our three pieces of advice for what not to do. But we do have one piece of advice of what to do. And that's to make some noise for our next act, Cassie Firestone! Hey, follow me to the pathway of success. This way. Path of success. Right up here. The first thing you gotta know is Mustang. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sports Center here at Team Miller Wright. We'll be showing you guys the top five plays this week to make it on at school. I'm Sean Wardowski. And I'm Michael Corbaugh. And let's take a look at the top five. Number five, we've got Tyler Williams in this week's track race. He's really grinding down the stretch. <laughs> you know, looks like he's, uh, looks like he's running out of gas. You know, Mike, the reason he made the top five here. Taking some hard warm up swings. featherweight champion of the world, Ryan Ruthless Scott! I watched this man destroy this virtual boxing. I, I didn't know weak boxing was a sport, Sean. It is now, and he's dominating it, Mike. Wow, I don't understand how he does it. Number one, we got a very young Aiden McKenzie. You know what they call Aiden Black? Breaking ankles and breaking dreams. And that's what he's doing right now, look at that crossover.
<laughs> I've got the results right here. And the winner is... Aiden Tyler! Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Who do you think you are? I am! Woo! Let's go! Wait, 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 guys, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It says right here that you guys did not win. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait! This is great publicity. You get a nice interview, I might even get my own T-Mobile commercial. This is great, this is great. Let me take that back. Nice. <laughs> and for the real runners, the wheel winners. Sorry, the mustache. Quinn Ryan! <laughs> Radish isn't an instrument either, Mike. Oh. I want waffles. 
Waffles? We had waffles yesterday. Pancakes! I have some sausage. Eggs! I just want to go back to sleep! Bacon! Bacon. Grits! Going back to sleep. Good night. So, uh, are we gonna have those pancakes? <laughs>